coming up on Apex TV 360. How Apex is helping keep shop techs and owners ahead of the curve. Plus, your health and safety is extremely important to us. So we're taking a look at safety measures being put in place during this year's show. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Bottom for Apex TV 360. As of mid-July, Apex is still planning to be held in November in Las Vegas. While we are still in uncertain times, the planning continues and adjustments to the show are being made. As you would expect, things may look a little different due to social distancing, wearing of masks, and forgoing of handshakes. But these changes will not keep you from reconnecting with industry peers and gaining new relationships. Some adjustments at Apex 2020 include the wearing of masks, this will be enforced and masks will be provided to exhibitors and attendees. Aisle width will be increased by 25% and physical distancing signage will be added. There will also be an increase in hand sanitizer stations throughout the Sands Expo and the Caesars Forum. In addition, staff will clean high traffic areas more frequently. For the latest news and information, head to apexshow.com, click on attendee, and under Show Info, head to On-Site Health and Safety. This page will update you on changes being enacted at Apex and what Apex officials, hotels, and the venues are all doing. We are also getting answers to your specific questions about the changes in new policies at Apex. We spoke to representatives from the Venetian Resort and the Sands Expo, as well as the leaders of the associations which power Apex, who gave us some timely updates about what to expect at the show. Hear their answers by watching this video on the front page of the attendee section of apexshow.com. Moving on to our main story in this month's Apex 2020 Spotlight. We're highlighting level two and discussing this year's new product and packaging showcases. The showcases keep buyers ahead of the curve by presenting new products that they can stock their shelves with. Level two is now known as Automotive Aftermarket Central. Chris Kalusek with Apex Show Management said you should expect to find a full spectrum of products, a number of specialty sections, and much more on this level. Level two is basically comprised of some of the largest domestic and international exhibitors that we have at Apex. There are a few separate sections in level two, like the remanufacturing section, uh, the AWDA section, and paint and body, as well as a technology section and robotics section in the Venetian ballroom. Some of the sections that you may be familiar with on level two have moved to level one. In addition, the new product and packaging showcases will be moved to inside the main hall, creating even more visibility and exposure for the entries. The product showcase features products which have been released within just the past year. The new product and packaging showcase is uh, located on level two, right on the main show floor, is actually the spot stop that you have to make if you're attending Apex. It displays all of the new and innovative, improved products, as well as packaging that is unique for all the exhibitors that, uh, that, that display them there. Kalusek also hopes attendees vote for their favorite new products before the show, because the winners will be crowned at Apex 2020. Last year, there were 14 winners, nine for products and five for packaging. The new product and packaging showcase awards are given out on Tuesday morning, the opening day of the show. We do that in the morning. We do that so that the exhibitors uh, can display proudly their, the awards that they receive in their booths for the duration of the show. The new product and packaging showcase awards will be on Tuesday, November 3rd, around 10 a.m. Head to the Let's Tech stage in the Level 2 lobby to catch that award ceremony. So while you're at Apex, be sure to stop by the new product and packaging showcases. Apex is also excited to announce the launch of the Service and Repair Awards. You can nominate a service advisor, shop owner, or technician who's performed above and beyond this past year. An independent panel of shop owners will do the judging, and the winners will be announced at Apex 2020. The deadline for submissions is Friday, July 31st. Mark your calendars now for Apex 2020. It runs November 3rd through the 5th at the Sands Expo and Caesars Forum Conference Center in Las Vegas. Don't forget to register on apexshow.com. And as always, join in on the conversation via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Just be sure to use the hashtag Apex20. 
That's it for this episode of Apex TV 360. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you next month.